Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another interesting problem from the JEE advanced test and it has to do with mechanics, specifically the center of mass of things. So let's read the problem to see the association with the center mass. We have a football, also known as a soccer ball in the United States, of radius r is kept on a hole of radius small r, small r being smaller than big r, made on a plank kept horizontally. So here we have the situation where it starts out horizontally. Then one end of the plank is now lifted so that it gets tilted, making an angle of theta from the horizontal. And then what is the maximum value of theta so that the ball does not start rolling? And of course, one of these answers satisfies that question. So you can imagine, of course, as we make it steeper and steeper and steeper, eventually the ball will roll out. But what is the key concept here? What should we realize or what should we know? Well, we should know that as the center mass gets past the last point of support. Now, remember, this is the farthest point. This is a circular hole. That's the farthest point. If you make this steeper, then the center mass will tend to go to the right. And eventually, the center mass will be right ab above that final point of support. If the center mass goes past it, the ball will ro roll out. So essentially, the key concept here is if the center mass gets past the last point of support, the whole thing will tip over. In this case, the ball will ro roll out of the hole. So if we draw this a little steeper, let's see what we get. So here again, there's the hole and there's the horizontal. So you can see that this angle now is steeper, is bigger, theta. So let's put the ball in here and let me try to draw that relatively correct. There we go. Now let's put the center mass there and notice center mass is now directly above that final point on the support. So let's draw a line straight down like this and we realize that this is equal to R. Then if we go ahead and draw a line across here and then we draw a line from there to there then we realize that this distance from here to here is equal to small r because essentially the distance from there to there is 2r. Okay, now the angle. Notice that this angle must be equal to this angle theta right there because as we make the, the angle smaller right here, you can see that this angle here becomes smaller and smaller. So this is the angle theta, and then as the plank goes a little bit horizontal, these two lines will, will be on top of one another, and theta will go to zero, just like this angle will go to zero. So that's the angle. Now we have a relationship. Notice that big R becomes the hypotenuse, little r becomes the opposite side, so we can see that the sign of theta by definition is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Now in this case the opposite side will be little r and the hypotenuse will be big R. So the answer is when the sine of theta becomes equal to r over r that is the very limit at which the ball will stay in the hole anything bigger than that the ball will roll out. What answer corresponds to that? It looks like the first answer right here and so that must be the correct answer for this particular problem. Now here, this one, you could probably do in less than three minutes. It's about how much time they allow for these problems. And so you have a little bit more time for the next one. And that is how it's done.